Did you know that there's something like Ryanair on rails? With this company you get the full comfort of a high speed train for a few bucks. Starting at just 5 euros you can travel across France at 300 kilometers per hour. In case you haven't guessed already, today we are talking about WeGo and our breathtaking journey from Paris across the country along the Côte d'Azur to Nice. But before we dive deeper into the details of WeGo, let's start with the trip. It's midsummer 2023, we arrived in Paris a day before this journey by overnight bus, spent a lovely day in Paris, went to the airport, visited this old lady and then stayed overnight near Disneyland Paris. You'll find out why later in the video. So out of the hotel, into the Rare and off to the Mickey Mouse railway station. Welcome to Marne La Vallée. Disneyland's very own station. From here SNCF's TGVs depart the blue Eurostars to London, the red Eurostars to Amsterdam and we go to various destinations. The first big difference compared to other countries, tickets are checked before boarding. And with a train that has around 1200 seats available, the queue can get quite long. So you should be there at least 15 minutes before departure, probably even longer. We were there about 30 minutes early. Das steht eigentlich auf den Bildschirmen drauf. And right on time, a few minutes before departure, our blue TGV duplex rolls in and the battle begins. The advantage of the French railway is that no one has to worry about standing in the aisles because reservations are mandatory in France. But that's both a blessing and a curse. Of course you have a guaranteed seat, but on the other hand you might not be able to buy a ticket at the last minute for spontaneous trips. Das heißt, wir müssten eigentlich gleich die ersten Sitze da oben bekommen. Nee, 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 da, da steht's noch. So, jetzt müssten wir eigentlich schon hier die ersten irgendwie haben. Aber 841, 842, wo steht denn die Nummer? Stehen die? Ah, nee, 843, 842. We secured seats on the upper deck and I must say it's really comfortable. The seats are softly padded, there's plenty of leg room which is especially positive considering Rigo is a low budget carrier. The WeGo concept. This is a good time to talk about the WeGo concept. WeGo is often referred as the Ryanair of the railways. And to some extent that's true. There are many similarities. The tickets can be really cheap. For example, you can travel halfway across the country for just 5 euros. But there are also some additional charge options. If you travel with more luggage, you pay extra. If you want to have a seat with a power outlet, you pay extra. If you want to use Wi-Fi and the entertainment portal, you pay extra. And sometimes the trains don't stop at major stations. Our train from Paris to Marseille doesn't start from one of the major Parisian stations, but from this small Disney station in marne la vallee About one hour metro or rare ride from the city center. Why is that? Well, it's for the same reasons Ryanair mostly flies to airports in the middle of nowhere. The station fees are simply much lower for the transportation company. Route network. Currently over 40 stations in France are served. You can reach almost every point in France with the Blue Giants. WeGo's only operates during the day and covers up to 3800 kilometers in a single day. Quite an achievement. The maintenance of the trains takes place exclusively at night. Rolling stock. Old former SNCF TGV duplex trains are used. For operations under the WeGo brand, the first class and catering services have been removed. The cars are either in a 2-2 or 3-1 configuration, carrying around 20% more passengers than under the old brand. 
If you compare this, the German low-budget provider Flixtrain also refurbished old intercity trains from Deutsche Bahn, but chose a significantly tighter seat layout. However, it's fair to say that Flix doesn't have double-decker cars available and the old IC trains have way more storage options for larger luggages compared to the TGV duplex. That's probably why the legroom on WeGo trains is so generous. So you can place your suitcase in front of you. Since 2022, there are also locomotive hauled WeGo's. The WeGo Classic on two lines. Booking. You can book WeGo tickets either through the weird SNCF Connect website or directly at WeGo.fr. That was only available in French for a long time. Either you had to use your very dusty school French like I did or translate the page with Google Translate. But now the site is also available in English. We go plus. For our journey with WeGo, we treated ourselves with an upgrade. We go plus. For a small charge of 9 euros, you get seats with a power outlet, access to onboard Wi-Fi and the entertainment portal. You can bring one more suitcase and you have free seat selection. The entertainment portal offers a very nice selection of movies, including quite recent ones and don't worry, also in English. Appropriately for our journey, I watched bullet train. What can be a better fit in this situation? A little note from me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. And the bravest among us can subscribe to the channel. There are always exciting and new trip reports here. Next time, for example, we'll be testing Lufthansa's latest Airbus A350 with the new Allegra's cabin. So stick around for this one. And here we are in Marseille already. The city welcomes us with a wonderful view of Aida Cosma, anchored in the harbor. By the way, announcements on the train are only made in French. But okay, as long as everything is going smoothly, you somehow catch the name of the next station. And if something goes wrong, there surely will be one English-speaking Frenchman among the 1,200 other passengers. This means we have to say goodbye to the WeGo for now, because we'll be covering the next section in the regional train. For the next hour, we'll be traveling in a Terre from Marseille to Toulon. Originally, we planned to spend the night in Marseille and head to Nice the other day. But there were much more nicer hotel deals in Nice at the time. Ticket costs. The ticket costs. As mentioned earlier, you can get tickets starting from 5 euros. During peak times, the prices usually rise. Dynamic pricing is the keyword here. Another similarity to the low-budget airlines. We booked this trip relatively spontaneously and paid around 80 euros per person for this trip from Paris to Nice. This included we go from Paris to Marseille, a regional train to Toulon and another trip with we go from Toulon to Nice. For comparison, at SNCF I would have paid around 200 euros per person for a direct train. Arriving in Toulon, it doesn't take long and another light blue giant rolls in. For us, the by far most beautiful part of the journey begins now. We'll be mostly traveling along the coast. Beautiful views, although the WeGo doesn't go quite as fast anymore. We won't be reaching 300 today, but that's okay. <laughs>
the WeGo customer service. While you enjoy a few more pictures of the Côte d'Azur, let me tell you about my experiences with the customer service. We wanted to do a trip report on WeGo early 2023 and booked a trip from Paris to Strasbourg. This trip was cancelled shortly before departure due to vandalism on the tracks. Unfortunately, there was no information about it. No messages, no app notification or email. There were only a few announcements in French at Gare de l'Est. Eventually, we found out through the German DB Navigator app what was going on. At the time, we also looked for a staff member or a counter at the station but found none. SNCF also didn't want to help us with alternative transportation. We had to contact them through a hotline. Unfortunately, as it sometimes is, they wouldn't want to speak English, at least not with me. Yes, that's also part of the low-budget experience. You just have to hope that everything goes as planned. Otherwise, as a customer, you are screwed. Whether it's WeGo, Eurowings, EasyJet or Flix. If something goes wrong, you're out of luck especially when it comes to paying for alternative services. They prefer to wait it out. With WeGo, on top of that, when you write the customer service in English, you will get a response in French, no matter how many times you reply in English. That's also a very rude way to treat fellow European neighbors. But let's move on. That's just nitpicking at high level. After six and a half hours and 1000 kilometers on the rails, we've reached the final destination of our journey today. The beautiful and very hot Nice. I'm glad you've stuck with me this far and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time there will be a trip report on Lufthansa's new Airbus A350 with the new Allegro's cabin. Looking forward to seeing you again in the comments. Until next time, safe travels, your Rene.